the royal family's social media accounts will block trolls who send offensive messages in a crackdown on abusive comments against Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton. The new guidelines from Buckingham Palace, Clarence House and Kensington Palace will see obscene, offensive or threatening comments removed in order to create a safe environment for genuine fans. Royal aides warned that abusive comments, such as those targeting Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle, could be reported to the police. The Twitter guidelines were laid out on the royal family's official website and then shared across their social media channels, prompting some immediate trolling. In January, Kensington Palace revealed that its moderating team spends hours eliminating vile comments, which often target the Duchess of Cambridge, 37, and the pregnant Duchess of Sussex, also 37. Some of the worst, hate-filled personal abuse is said to be between rival fans of Kate and pregnant former Suits star Meghan, who married into the Windsors less than a year ago. In the message posted on the royal family's website, the stern guidelines asked followers of the Windsors' accounts to not promote discrimination based on race, sex, religion, nationality, disability, sexual orientation or age. The aim of our social media channels is to create an environment where our community can engage safely in debate and is free to make comments, questions and suggestions, it said. We ask that anyone engaging with our social media channels shows courtesy, kindness and respect for all other members of our social media communities. In a warning to those who flout the guidelines, the royal site said, as well as users being blocked, the police may be contacted in some cases. We reserve the right to determine, at our discretion, whether contributions to our social media channels breach our guidelines, it said. We reserve the right to hide or delete comments made on our channels, as well as block users who do not follow these guidelines. We also reserve the right to send any comments we deem appropriate to law enforcement authorities for investigation as we feel necessary or is required by law. Reaction to the guidelines was largely positive although, predictably, some saw it as an opportunity to immediately flout the request and post disrespectful comments. One commenter called Meghan a cheap duchess while another said she was an embarrassment to the royal family. Other users suggested the palace was censoring freedom of speech with one calling it a 15th century move. Other users were more positive, as at Ajavis 2011 responded. Hopefully you are getting rid of some of the offensive tweets on this thread. At Kenzos underscore kid said, Good news, I am tired of blocking someone else the vindictive and over-the-top nasty people who comment on the royal social sites. At Tom Fev penned, Great, maybe it will help stop the vitriol aimed at the Duchess of Cornwall. Last month, it was revealed that Tennessee's Serena Williams, a close friend of Meghan Markle had been helping her deal with online abuse. The Duchess of Sussex, 37, who is expecting her first child with Prince Harry, 34, in the spring, was said to be receiving advice from the tennis star's PR team. According to reports Serena, also 37, offered Kensington Palace the help of her team after seeing a growing number of cruel jibes aimed at the mother to be on social media. Serena who gave birth to her first child Alexis Olympia in 2017, has been firm friends with fellow American Meghan for almost a decade, after they met in 2010. The insider said, Meghan is still acclimatizing to the royal way of dealing with things, she is very much used to the ruthless Hollywood PR machine. Her publicist Kelly put a small team together to create a pitch, and have been in touch with the palace under an official capacity with a few ideas. Meghan's obviously had some horrible trolling, plus people keep speculating about her relationship with Kate so Serena feels she needs the big guns behind her to set the record straight, and shut everything down.